Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss biomembranes. This is just an introductory video on uh, biomembranes. They are also known as plasma membrane. We'll co cover more detailed aspect of this particular topic. So let's start with the first point, which is microbes, plants, and animals. Everything has a specific biomembrane or a plasma membrane. So this is important for their functioning. It contains so many protein molecules and those protein molecules, they have specific function. So let me write it down. Biomembrane is also known as plasma membrane and its main function is to mark the edges. That means what is the boundary of the cell. So I can write it down. It can define the boundary. Its main function is to define the boundary of the particular cell or an organelle. Another function is to separate the inside from the outside. And it also outlines the cell organelles. So you can see the biomembrane is an important structure of the cell. Now, when we talk about its basic structure, it contains phospholipid molecules. Basically, it is composed of phospholipid uh, molecules and it forms a biolayer. Phospholipid bilayer. It carry, basically, it has so many proteins. It is also very flexible. It's not static. Now, let's talk about the membrane of the prokaryote. Prokaryotic organisms, the dimension is 1 to 2 micrometer. It is very simple. It has no subcompartments. The membrane of the prokaryotic organism also contains membrane protein and they carry various functions. Now, the next important point, which is I have already mentioned that they are quite simple in structure and they perform ATP synthesis. So this is an important point. They also have numerous membrane transporters. So this is just an, you know, brief introduction of the prokaryotic biomembranes. Now let's talk about the eukaryotic biomembranes. In case of eukaryotic organisms, first point is ATP generation is not there. And second point is these biomembranes also contain protein molecules and they perform various function including various functions including selective transport. Another important point is in case of eukaryotic organisms they have receptors and receptors are involved in the signal detection and the signal detection is or the signal processing cell signaling is an important uh, part of the biomembrane of eukaryotic organism and they are flexible they help in uh, they are flexible they help in cell attachment detachment process so in case of eukaryotic organism the biomembrane has you know advanced as compared to the prokaryotic organisms now Let's design the structure. As you can see in the white color, I have designed the phospholipid molecules, a uh, single layer. Now, this is the second layer that you're seeing. So this is how a particular biomembrane or a plasma membrane is designed. They have the round hydrophilic end and then these tails, which are hydrophobic in nature. Next, we have different kinds of protein molecules. They are embedded. First one, which is in pink color or the violet color you're seeing is the transporter or a channel. Second, you have integral proteins that are important for the integrity of the membrane. Third, what you're seeing is a hook shaped structure is the receptor. In addition to these molecules, there are other molecules that are important for the biomembranes and they are also present in this particular layer. Now, as you can see, I'm labeling the uh, channel as a transporter. Then the green one is the integral protein and then you have the receptor. So this is 
in general, the layout of our uh, biomembrane or plasma membrane. And as you can see here, we have discussed different aspect in, in this quick video where we have compared the prokaryotic versus eukaryotic plasma membrane. We have also discussed the general function of the plasma membrane. After that, finally, we have seen the architecture, the, the simple architecture of the plasma membrane. So I hope that this video is going to help you in your studies. And this video, I hope, is, uh, is going to help you in understanding the biomembrane. I will make more videos on this particular topic in detail where we will discuss the structure, function of different types of biomembranes uh, in my next videos. So if you like these kind of videos, then please stay tuned and watch all those videos. Thank you and take care.